Hello there, my name's Percy and I'm the old groundsman and I got a tale to tell you and see if you can figure out who the hell I'm on about. Well, I want to tell a story about a chap I know who's not the sharpest in the world. In fact, his brain is slow. He must be pushing 55, he's wrinkled and he's gnarled. And he likes to play golf every week and he plays it rather wild. He steps right up onto the tee and waggles his big driver. <coughs> he shakes his ass, scratches his cock and looks for an admirer. He then takes a breath, a mighty swing and send his golf ball soaring. Straight towards a nearby lake, this will fuck his scoring. He'll cuss and swear and stamp his feet to temper his frustration while his playing partners just piss themselves at his situation. He takes a drop, gets out his wood. The wood is number three. What's the betting, one guy says. It ends up in a tree. <coughs> the others ask the betting man, how much will I make if after he takes on the shot, the club is in a lake? Sure enough, he scuffs his shot. It don't go where it ought to. However, guess where his club went? Yes, straight into the water. Now his ball is in the sand. You'll hear a high pitch wailing. Clouds of sand are everywhere as his arms they are a-flailing. Fucking hell, he cries out loud. This game just isn't fair as he pulls his sandwich back and hoists it in the air. It's not only this chap's game that makes him such a spanner. I remember when we went away to a place called Cowdick Manor. We met up in the bar that night for a beer or two when we looked up in amazement as he came breezing through. With rolled up knee length denim shorts and short sleeve stripy top, he looked more like a sailor boy. I think he lost the plot. Who on earth would dress like that and still say though aloof? Maybe it's cause secretly he wants to be a poof. Now when I come to think of it, and it always happened when, he would seem to mince when walking in the company of men. Now my words are coming to an end, and it is my conclusion. By now the chap I'm on about, and there's surely no confusion. He turns up on a Sunday morning, bleary-eyed and bleating, about how he's going to take your cash. He says at every meeting. After another shitty round is played, he sneaks out to his van, to avoid the stick coming his way. Yep, it is the full of love man. Oh, oh, oh.